Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management. And of course, that's spelled P-A-Y-N-E, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and is my dad, Bob Payne. Good morning, dad. What's shaking on this uh, first weekend of May? I can't believe we're in May right now. Quarantine life is going by very, very quickly right now. Well, just hoping that the uh, showers we had in April on Wall Street, Rye, bring May flowers. So, so far, looks like our portfolio is budding beautifully. Yeah, I mean, along with the weather in the Northeast, I mean, I think it's been cloudy almost every single day. <laughs> Not all of us are living in Naples like you, Bob, where it's sun shining every day. So, uh, I hope the spring's going to bloom just like the market is. Well, Rye, I got a taste of what summer's like down here. It's been in the 90s, and well, I don't know how people live here all year round, but I'll Kudos to them. I'm looking forward to getting back to the beach and the shore and uh, getting to the summer. And um, I'll tell you what, I think things are going to be a lot better than everybody's predicted. Love your optimism, Bob, and no one feels sorry for you for being in the heat here, especially from the Northeast. But I digress. Well, we got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about simplifying your financial life. While you're home on lockdown, Bob and I are going to give you three practical strategies to help you simplify your financial life right now. We're going to talk about predictable income. You need a predictable income plan for retirement. Bob and I are going to tell you exactly how to build one, along with this week's financial propaganda, where we're going to call out the worst advice, the best advice the financial media has recently been broadcasting. And on our spotlight segment today, we have our financial advisor, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to be on the show, and she's going to break someone's real retirement plan down for you so you can make some good decisions about your own planning. So let's hop to it. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan. You simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. You know, what kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. We're going to do it for free. Simply go to www paincm.com slash game plan. That's www.paincm.com slash game plan. During these volatile times, while you're quarantining, we'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. And we'll put together a game plan for you today. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news, called the best advice, worst advice, the financial media has been recently broadcasting to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. And Bob, you know, you and I, we read everything. Um, we have everything going back and forth from your email to my email. What would you find this week that's worth talking about on our financial propaganda segment. You know, right. I think I saw it all, but this week they had a uh, famous woman, uh, poker player, Annie Duke, come out and give great financial advice. And Barron's, I was just shocked to get, a, get advice on long-term investing from somebody who bluffs playing cards for a living. <laughs> so yeah, you're saying, I mean, you always said the, the market was like a big casino, Bob. Is that true? Or what was the article about that you had this professional poker player talking about how you can use some of those skills to invest in the market? Let me be clear about this, Rye. It's only a casino in the short run, the daily. If anybody's trying to beat the casino on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't have a chance. In the long term, in the long run, it is the greatest wealth generator in the history of the planet. So if you're not invested in the financial markets, you have no chance of achieving wealth, in my opinion. But you know, her advice, when you get into these volatile times, when you get into a bear market decline like we just experienced, is to do nothing. But 
That's good advice unless you have a great advisor. And if you have a great advisor, I think you have a few things you should be doing in this period. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I mean, if you're running an asset allocation or a discipline with your investments, I mean, dollar cost averaging over the last couple of months has actually been a very, very good strategy. Um, and it speaks to why you have to have that discipline because we get so many questions right now. You know, Bob, should I go to cash? Uh, should I just wait for things to calm down? Is that when I get back invested? And as we know, that strategy never works. You know, Ryan, this is why our strategy always works because we invest on purpose, right? We only have an allocation. You only take as much risk as you need to in your financial assets. And every one of you should have a targeted asset allocation. In other words, an investment strategy that you keep come hell or high water. And it makes it so easy to invest when you follow that approach. It does because, you know, we talk about the financial media and we like to make fun of the financial media if you listen to our, our podcast or radio show on a regular basis. And it's amazing a lot of the advice that's been out there right now because, you know, look, we had this huge move down in the stock market, the fastest decline ever, Bob. I'm still freaking out. <laughs> it was so fast. Um, but now we've had the biggest recovery ever. You know, the market's bounced off the bottom and you have all these pundits out there talking about, well, you got to be careful. Market's going to go down again and everyone's waiting for the market to go down again, but it keeps going higher here. Hey, Ryan, I've been doing this for 46 years and there's never been a time where anyone has signaled to me certainty. Now's the time. It's not going to get any worse. It's going to get a lot better. It's going to be great. Yeah. You know, nobody ever tells you that. That's why you got to rebalance your portfolio all the time to your target, whether we're up 10% or down 10%. Yeah, and I think the point here is if you're invested for the long term, you should be invested, period. You shouldn't be sitting in cash waiting. It doesn't work. Because um, we talk about this a lot because everyone's waiting for the news to get better. And people in the media love to play it safe because they're afraid if they tell you to get invested here and they're wrong, their reputation is ruined. But as we know, when you have certainty and things start to look better and things are actually are starting to look a little bit better, market's already up. And if you're sitting cash waiting, you miss the boat. That's a terrible investment strategy. And it just doesn't work in practicality. This is what blows my mind. Why aren't you on national TV every day telling people this? Instead, they put some bond manager on who told everybody when the Dow was at 18,000, don't invest because it's going to go lower. And at 25,000, they said, what do you think now? Well, I still think there's a chance for us to break the low of 18,000. I mean, what kind of advice is that? <laughs> Well, that's why it's so dangerous to, to watch these people on TV. Um, we talk about it all the time. In fact, you would have been better off, Bob, literally at the beginning of March deciding, you know what? I'm just going to leave my house. I'm going to go out into the woods. I'm going to go camping. I'm not going to look at any news. Come back in May, and you would have saved yourself so much heartache over the course of the last couple of weeks with all the volatility and all the yahoos telling you what to do with your money. All right. First of all, Ra, you'd be breaking the law because you weren't supposed to leave your house. But secondly, <laughs> sounds like to me you're agreeing with the poker player, Andy Duke. You shouldn't have done anything. You should have just maintained your investments. Don't listen to these financial propagandists on TV. But this really hones in the reason why you need to have a strategy, right? If you have a strategy, it's so much easier to tune out the noise because your strategy invariably is going to tell you what to do. Because when times are uncertain, you just need some direction. And when you've built the blueprint already, it's just so much easier to execute on that strategy as opposed to being like, oh my God, Mark's down now. What do I do? What do I do? Is this going to affect my retirement? The strategy is in place. It's already on autopilot. You know, Ryan, when you have your own personal asset allocation, you know exactly how much risk you need to take to achieve your goals. The market tells you every single minute of the day where the opportunities are. You become an incredible genius when it comes to investing because it's all about you not about the rest of the world. So every day the market has opportunity and your portfolio screams at you every day where that opportunity yeah. is. And think about that. By just doing nothing and just staying invested in your portfolio, you did better than all the investment professionals on TV that were saying how you got to be careful here, wait for things to get better. They're behind the eight ball now. They made a bad decision. Now they have all this cash and they're trying to think about what to do next. That's a terrible place to be versus someone who just sticks with their discipline and their allocation. It really comes down to determining who you are as an investor. Are you a long-term investor or are you a speculator? If you're a speculator, you might as well go to a casino. You have the same chance of being successful. When you're an investor, your portfolio generates return every day. Believe it or not, bonds accrue interest every single day you're making money. Dividends are accrued every single day you're making money. They get paid into your portfolio 
every quarter, every six months. And last I checked, I can't buy lunch with relative performance, right? I need income to survive. You need to be invested. You need to stop watching financial propaganda channels. You gotta listen to people like you. Yeah, and if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a strategy. I've got all of these portfolios. I did get hit hard when the market was down. I kept some money in cash trying to figure out when to get in. There is no perfect time to get in. You need a strategy, not a perfect time to get in. Here's your shot to do it. You're one of the next five callers. You have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you. Our now famous total financial master plan. It's a full holistic review that addresses all your financial issues. All you need to do is get those statements together. You can send them through a secure email. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can get a tally up and an audit of your entire financial life. We can start making good decisions about your money. We're going to look at everything from income. Having an income plan for retirement is critical. Whether you're retired now or planning to retire in the near future, you have to have an income plan. How are you going to draw from your portfolio? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio and create an income stream that you're going to have for life. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hammered when the market went down? Did you have a strategy in place? Were you making good decisions? We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio in these down markets, bulletproof your portfolio for retirement, and we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in these investment portfolios you don't know you're paying. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio and those brokerage products, those mutual funds, insurance products, annuities. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, how to reduce that cost, then optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do right now from a tax perspective. Money saved in taxes, just as green as any money you can make invested. We're going to show you how to save taxes and then tie it all together into one total financial master plan, determining that most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we've been perfecting for over 45 years, take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next five callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now there's no obligation, there's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne and I'm hanging with Rye Payne because we're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. So, Bob, our team literally puts together hundreds of financial plans every single year. And the one thing we found unequivocally is most of you are making things way too difficult. And, you know, one of our guiding principles at Payne Capital Management is simplicity over complexity. So I thought we could discuss three practical strategies you can use right now to simplify your financial plan. Hey, Ryan, based on some of the appointments you've had over the last couple of months, you would think it's not accumulation of wealth, it's accumulation of statements. Hey, look how many statements I have, Ryan. I must be doing really well. I mean, what gives me more anxiety than having all these freaking statements? Um, <laughs> it's just like they come in the mail, they come in piecemeal. And the funny thing we find is if we aggregate everything for you in our financial portal, which is a cool way to do it, a lot of times you don't realize how much money you actually have. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> no, I really don't. And, and the other problem is, You'd think you must be diversified having all these envelopes hitting every month or even if you get it electronically. But it turns out most of these portfolios are concentrated and not always in a good way. Yeah. So that's why I think step number one to simplify things is get a place where you can look at everything and get a real idea of what your actual net worth is. And that's where there's a lot of platforms online you can use. Like we use a platform called eMoney or we call our 360 financial portal where you can just get a bird's eye view and tally up where everything is. I think that's just like step number one, Bob, because most of us don't even know that. Well, that's a great step, right? Because, you know, everybody's quarantined in place. You're getting the mail, at least, and, you know, the mail's being delivered. You know, take those statements, scan them, send them to us in our secure server. Let us do the work for you. Let us put it into a portal where you can see it and, you know, find out if you have a lot of risk, you know, that you didn't know be about before. 
Yeah, because once you have that, then you can start looking at what we call overlap, right? You have things in the portfolio where maybe you own something in your 401k, then you have your broker over here that recommended a product. And they have different names, Bob, but the irony is a lot of this stuff, they all own the same thing. Yeah, it's amazing. When you take a look at the concentration, it's, it's not just when it comes to stocks or equities, but it's also in the bond area. If you have a lot of high yielding bonds, in other words, junk, right? You know, do you like, I don't know. Who, who would buy junk? Huh. I mean, I don't think I would ever buy junk, but the nice thing about Wall Street is they give things fancy names like high yield to make something sound like it's a good investment where really the underlying investments could be very risky. Uh, my favorite is enhanced high yield. You know, we, we want to give you the enhanced high yield portfolio. What about safety of principle? You know, so it's not too late to have these things looked at and make sure you don't have the kind of overlap that's going to kill you financially. Yeah. So I think once you aggregate your assets, which is step number one, what you want to start to look at is consolidation. And that's where you start to weed out where you have too much risk in the same place. The other thing is, you have no idea how much cash you have versus how much you have in the stock market, how much you have in bonds, unless you put everything in one place. So it's not really important about what you have in one account. It's what you have over all your accounts. And the question I would always ask, Bob, is it all working together? No, that's, that's the most important ingredient, Ryan. Right? When you have all these different 401ks because you've changed jobs over the years, you have all these different IRAs, you have different accounts, you may have been remarried. There's, there's money everywhere. And if you don't look at it in one view, you really don't know what you have. You really, you know, you do know what you have. You have a mess. Yeah, I love that. It is a mess, right? And you call this a collection of investments. So, I mean, the idea is whatever you're doing in one account, you want to make sure you're balancing that off of what you're doing in your other account over here. So it's all working in concert as opposed to that collection of investments or junk, as you like to say, Bob. You know, I spent a lot of time training people in our industry and what I found was if, if you have a lot of small accounts, you're like a small account to nobody, right? If you concentrate <laughs> all your money, it's so true, right? You, you know, you want to be important, right? And the more money you have in one place, the more important you are, the more your advisor is going to pay attention to you. And where else does that pay benefits and where does that pay dividends, right? Yeah, no, I think the thing about consolidation is, you know, as the second principle is you get advice from one person who oversees everything. You know, it's just a mess when you have one person over here telling you to do one thing and one person over here telling you to do something else it makes your portfolio look pretty schizophrenic, you know? Like I spoke about that woman this week who transferred all her money over to us for management. One of the advisors said, ah, you can leave it here. You can send it there, you know, whatever you want to do. It's as if she wasn't important. They didn't care about her. They didn't even know who she was. Yeah, Bob, exactly. You want one person who's focused on everything, not a lot of people that are kind of focused on a couple things in your portfolio it makes no sense, which brings us to our third strategy, and that's building a financial dream team. You know, I think where things work the best is when you have one financial planner, but they're also talking to your tax advisor and your estate planner so you can make good concerted decisions about everything in your portfolio and your financial life. You know, Ryan, in my 46 years, almost 47, you know, wow. you can tell by the gray hair, right? Um, <laughs> This is this past month was the most important month in the history of, of my time in the business where it really paid off for my clients that uh, I had a great relationship with their CPA, had a great relationship with their attorney because they're making very important decisions, you know, tax decisions, even decisions on what to do with the money that's coming from the government, on, you know, how to deploy it, whether to take it, whether not to take it. Um, I've never felt more important to my clients and more important with the other advisors than I felt in the last 30 days. Yeah, no, exactly. So if you're a financial advisor and your accountant don't talk, that's a real problem. That's a red flag in my opinion. You, know, you want to make sure that they are all talking to each other because again, to your point, Bob, there's a lot of big tax decisions to make this year. Like if you have to take mandatory distributions from your retirement account and you don't have to take it this year, well, this is when your tax professional and your financial advisor should be talking making sure they're coming up with the best solution for you. Yeah, it's like that. just doing tax swaps like we've been recommending for the last couple of weeks uh, has paid off in big dividends because a lot of the CPAs come and say, oh, this is great because we had a piece of real estate we sold that uh, you know, nobody ever told you about. So there's lots of benefits having all your advisors thinking about you. You're paying someone a fee, why not have the dream team? And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I don't have a financial dream team, that's what I need. I need to finally simplify my situation because I'm tired of all these statements coming in, I have no idea what anybody's doing. Here's your shot to do it. 
We have 10 slots. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, you call or text right now. Myself and Bob will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we help you simplify everything. All you need to do is get us your statements. We're using a secure email so you can send them in, and we're going to build you your own personalized financial portal so while you're home quarantined, you can finally get a tally up of your entire net worth and then start making some really good decisions about your financial future. You know, everything from income. Income is so critical for retirement, whether you're retired now or planning to retire in the future. You need an income plan. We're going to show you how to build an income plan and optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. Are you properly diversified? Are all your assets all the way out there spread out? You have no idea what they're doing. We're going to show you how to weed out all that overlap show you how to protect yourself when the market goes down like it did recently so you have safeguards and protections in your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those high-cost mutual funds, those brokerage firms love to sell you, those annuities, insurance products, we're going to show you all the hidden costs are, how to reduce cost on your portfolio, and then finally work with you and your tax advisor to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? And all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752. 752-6692, or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out virtually with my son, Ryan, today. And we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And Bob and I want to make sure you're getting the best advice right now with all the chaos in the world and all the volatility. And that's why we put together our latest tax guide, which you have now till July, to make some tax decisions on your portfolio. So we give you five simple strategies to start to optimize your taxes so there's more money in your pocket. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555. 888, that's the word bullish, spelled B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Bye-bye, I give you five ways to save on taxes right now. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective. We give you five simple strategies. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. Make sure you're optimizing for taxes. Text the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our document for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, you know, it's so critical to have a reliable and predictable income stream in retirement. We talk about this all the time. So choosing the right investments to generate that income so you can live on it is probably one of the most important decisions you're going to have to make with regards to your retirement plan. So that we could talk about some of those different investment vehicles you can use to generate income and really the optimal way to do it. Well, Rob, you know, there's always the uh, rental income that you get from investment properties that they advertise very heavily on TV. And, you know, it sounds good when you're looking at it on paper. But when you find out you're not just the landlord, but you also have to be the plumber, the electrician, the carpenter, the handyman, the person who takes care of the landscaping, the person who fixes the roof, the air conditioner, and the heater, and everything else breaks down, (laughs) Um, just to name a few. Uh, And then you hit an environment like this where people stop paying their rent. That looks like such a good deal any longer. Yeah, no, that's a great point. And I think it's one thing, look, it's nothing wrong with having some rental income and what we would call some real estate equity that you actually have to manage. But you have to remember, it's sweat equity, right? And to me, Bob, if I'm retired, I'm not sure how much sweat equity I want to have in my portfolio where I actually have to do the work. That's something you need to weigh out with how much rental income or active real estate you really want to have when you're actually retired. 
Well, one of my clients called me this week and said, I'm done. Everything's for <laughs> sale. Keep a lookout. I'm depositing everything back into the accounts. This is not for me. Yeah, another place that we see a lot of pitches are on that guaranteed income stream from an annuity where you have income for life. That sounds like a really sexy pitch, Bob. Is that the best way to generate income for retirement? Well, first of all, Rye, I think the word guaranteed is, um, it's actually illegal to use. The only guaranteed investment there is, is a bond issued by the US government. So anything that say, where they advertise guaranteed, it means it's issued by a company. And a company guarantees, as long as they stay in business, they'll pay it. That's not yes. a guarantee. Right. There's more risk there than meets the eye with that. And you have to be careful with a lot of these products right now that are being pitched, especially on TV, very heavily. And the other places you can generate some income, obviously, of the bond market, which that can be a great place to invest depending on how you do it. Well, you have to make sure that uh, there's two things when you own a bond, that you have a high quality bond. In other words, it's not so much the interest. The higher the interest rate, the riskier the investment. So you want to make sure when you have a bond or a fixed income investment, Rye, there's two things you get. And what are those two things? Permanence and definition. You've been beating in my head now for like two decades. <laughs> Nothing like it, buddy. You know, you want to make sure you get interest or return on your money. But number two, you want to make sure you get a return of your money and most importantly, you know the date that's going to happen. And that's not something you see in a lot of what are called fixed income investments. Yeah. So go through your portfolio now and look at what kind of bonds you have. And if you have an advisor, ask them if you have bond funds. Because if you do, again, there's no return of your principal. There's no date that says this money's coming back to you. And that's a big problem. So for money that's supposed to be safe in your portfolio, you have to make sure it's really safe. So get that analyzed. The other thing is stock dividends. Um, you know, one thing that's not talked about a lot right now with the market down is those stocks are still paying their dividends and dividends are a real source of income like rental income that you can have come in during retirement. Yeah, but right. There are a lot of cyclical companies, uh, companies that are in the um, cruise business or people in the hotel business or in the car business that have cut their dividends. So are dividends really safe? Well, that's why you have to have a lot of them, right, Bob? So if you have some dividends that cut, you have to have a whole portfolio of dividends to make sure that you're not just relying on, let's say, buying one or two companies, right? It sounds great to say, I'm just going to buy Verizon stock. Well, any company can go to zero, so you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, per se. Now, that's why I thought it was fascinating, right? I looked at the dividend aristocrat portfolio last week, where you have companies who have to have increased their dividend every year consecutively for 25 years in order to be included in that portfolio. And there were five or six dividend increases last week, and you'll never guess. They're all dividend aristocrats. Yeah. So, I mean, I think the key here is with your building that income stream for retirement is you have to account for a couple of things. Safety, number one, understand where that money's coming from. So if it's a high yield bond, you know, we call that a junk bond. We talked about that in the last segment you know, you may not get your principal back. So that might not be the best opportunity. The other thing you have to think about, Bob, is cost of living goes up over time, right? So it's important that your income is also going up over time. Yeah, right. As I was listening to you tell me about all the risk in these different dividend generating investments, I'm thinking, well, I'm so scared I'm going to sit in cash um, and make nothing. Uh, but at least I'm not going to lose anything. But now you're telling me I lose no matter what I do. No, that's exactly right. And that's the biggest mistake you're making right now. It's like, I'm just going to put my money in cash. Well, cash earning one, 2% that you pay taxes on right now, that's going to be a big problem with your retirement. Because last time I looked, your retirement expenses aren't going to go down. They're going to start going up. And even though that money doesn't fluctuate sitting in cash, you're losing against inflation. And that's something you can't afford to do, especially if you're going to be retired for 20, 30 years, which most of, most of us are now. You know, that's the one thing that didn't go away in this pandemic is inflation, that hidden insidious tax, right? And that's why you have to make investments in risk assets. You have to extend yourself. And that's where diversification is the key. Diversification to high quality assets that pay interest, that pay dividends, and that grow net of inflation. Yeah, so there's two things you want to do right now. Number one is you want to figure out how much income do your investments pay today? And does that match your expenses? Number two, once you figure that out is you've got to review all your investments to make sure the cash flow they're generating is secure. Because if it's not, because losing your principal is way worse than not generating income. So you need that balance, Bob, and that has to be reviewed, especially right now with so much risk out there in the markets. And I think that's the mistake that everyone makes some point in their career where they look at 
you know, a couple of stocks that pay like 5% dividend thinking, hey, I got Nirvana, I need a 5% return, I'll buy a stock that pays 5%. But you need dividend growth stocks. You need a diversified portfolio. You can't put all your eggs into one or two baskets because those baskets can go away. So it's diversification, a balanced approach, income for life, net of inflation. It's achievable. Just have to make sure you know what you own and you got to know why you own it. Hey, Ryan, you couldn't be more right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, boy, I need predictable income. You know, I'm tired of being a landlord. You know, last I checked, my municipal bond portfolio didn't call me up at two o'clock in the morning to let me know the drain was clogged. So, you know, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next seven callers and you've saved at least 500000 for retirement, Ryan and I are going to make you an offer you can't refuse. We're going to create for you your own 360 financial portal. This is a financial GPS, not unlike the GPS in your car, where we're going to map out where you are financially and where you're going and report daily on your progress to your financial goals. It'll define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your goals in your lifetime. It'll put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter plan that you might get from the bank or the brokerage firm. More importantly, it's gonna update your net worth in real time daily. And it'll be there when you feel like looking at it. You wanna take a break and don't look, don't look. But when you're ready, it's there, updating in real time, in the background. And this way, you'll always know exactly where you are financially, but most importantly, where you're headed, net of inflation and net of taxation. In addition, Ryan and I are gonna take your portfolio, all those different statements, whether it's two or 20, and break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. You know, we all end up with a collection of investments. That's not gonna get us to our goals. We need to be sure that we have the three key strategies. Number one, diversification. We've got to be diversified across asset classes, within asset classes, with high quality companies that are going to be able to pay their dividends and interest and give your money back when the bond comes due. We're going to look at cost. There's lots of hidden costs. Wall Street is great at hiding costs. We have the ability to x-ray your portfolio and show you where those costs are. They're buried deep in the prospectus of that mutual fund and somewhere in that big fat annuity contract. We want to make sure that your costs are minimized so that you're only paying for what you need. And lastly, we're going to look at income. Income is something we all need, especially when we hit those retirement years and that paycheck's no longer coming in. We need to fill that gap that comes with retirement. And if you're retired right now, your number one goal is to keep it that way. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we're going to answer that age old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for 46 years. Can you believe it? For four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your point B to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track while you're home locked down on quarantine at 844-752-6692. We still have seven slots left. If you're one of the next seven callers and you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're using a secure email. If you send us your information, we will build for you your own personalized financial portal we're doing all of our reviews over video conference. You can do it now. Take advantage of it at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's no pain, no gain, financial radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can always check us out on the World Wide Web. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show as a podcast, have it delivered to your inbox every single week, and you can check out Bob's hair, which is real, <laughs> but you should check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. You can also learn more about our firm, Pain Capital Management, what we do. Uh, we're a wealth management firm out in New York, Philadelphia, and Florida. Uh, help you with your financial planning and all your needs. You can go to bebullish.com, learn more about the firm, and yes, check out Bob's hair. A very handsome man and his hair is real. Go to bepush.com. Along with you, can catch most of our advisors and myself every week on all the major networks, everywhere from 
CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, just talking about our latest views on the market, the economy. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can always email us directly. We answer all your questions directly. Go to questions at bebullish.com. You can email us questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And we had some great questions this week. We're getting so many questions right now. And to help us with questions today, we have our man in the studio, Dan Irving. Dan, how's the quarantine life down in North Carolina, man? Doing pretty good. I'm the man in the home studio, actually. Hey, um, are you still doing all that running or what's going on down there? Well, I was about to say, uh, we've been getting a lot of April showers lately, so I'm glad it's May. Finally, May. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know if you've been flying. Time is flying, whether you're having fun or not. Yeah. Well, we got some great questions in the mailbag today. And our first question is from Patrick in White Plains, New York. And Patrick says, Bob, I have two old 401ks that I've been meaning to roll over for a while, but I never got around to dealing with it until this pandemic got me stuck at home and I could focus. So I'm ready to make this happen. But now I'm wondering if this is a bad time to do the rollover after these 401ks have lost so much money in the last several weeks. You know, Patrick, nothing's going to change the fact of what the market values are today versus where they were a month ago or where they're going to be a month from now. But over time, all markets recover. What's most important is that you're in a position to win. Now, when it comes to 401ks, right, why are they the most expensive investment out there for someone who has retirement money? Because typically with a 401k, you don't see it, but there's a lot of hidden costs. And you pay a lot of the admin expense uh, on that 401k for all the other participants. So you're subsidizing, you know, any of your fellow employees or former employees uh, retirement as well by paying some of those admin costs. So a lot of times, you know, you're very limited in your options and what you can pick and the fees you don't see because the devil you don't see is more dangerous than the devil that you do is typically embedded in the fund costs in those plans, Bob. That's why we always roll 401ks into an individual retirement account for you. Now, this, don't get me wrong, right? We're not saying 401ks are a bad investment. They're the best investment you can make while you're working. But again, the costs are higher because you've got to share it with all the other participants. You know, they can pay for loans and all these other things. But I think your biggest point is, you know, you really have a limited menu of investments because in the long run, the company's trying to keep the cost down. So they limit your investment options. Where if you roll it over into your own name, into your own IRA, you have the entire universe of investments at your fingertips. So I can't think of any reason why now is not the best time to take action in your portfolio, whether it's a 401k decision or any other part of your investments. Right, Ryan? Yeah, no, I think the analogy I've been using a lot on the show lately is think about it as the tide has gone down, just like the market's gone down. You're in a boat right now. It's kind of leaky. It's kind of sinking down a little bit where you can jump to another boat that's down as well, but it's much sturdier. So when that tide rises again, you have a better chance of not only recovering your wealth, but creating wealth over time. And that's why right now making proactive decisions on your portfolio can be the best thing you ever do. While the volatility is high, uncertainty is high, you can make some great adjustments so you really capture that market when it recovers and set yourself up for retirement. So you're telling me, Ry, get out of that leaky rowboat, get into that beautiful sleek boat with twin uh, Yamaha engines on the back and, and zoom your way to retirement wealth? That sounds like a Bob Payne boat if I've ever heard of one. I'll tell you what, I'm in, pal. I'm in. Sign me up. Thank you, Patrick, for writing in. Our next question comes to us from Grace in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. And Grace says, Ryan, as we're faced with a recession that was caused by something so unprecedented, how do we shift our investment strategy to make sure we're still on track for our short-term and mid-term goals? Okay, I love this question. It goes back to what we've been talking about all show today. If you have the right retirement strategy, it shouldn't change with the market coming down big like this. You know, because number one, you always want to have your short-term goals and long-term goals accounted for. And what that means to me is, Bob, you know, if the market's down right now, the idea is you already had money that's set aside in cash. We always say six months worth of expenses. You already have that big bond portfolio that's high quality that would have protected you on the downside. So I think you need a strategy, regardless if the market's up or down, that actually always works. You know, Ryan, I think that the thing is, you need to use history as a guide. Um, you know, I lived through the SNL panic. Um, you know, we, I've been, you know, we've been through all these different declines in the market and every single decline in history since the country was founded were temporary. 
and the recoveries have been permanent. You know, I think what we have to realize is my number one Bobism. The world doesn't end very often. Amen, Bob. Amen. Preaching to the choir. And yeah, I think that's important because the other thing right now, just going back to what we talked about the first question, is you want to have a strategy in place. If you don't have one in place, the market's down. Well, great. This is the time to do it. But you're not setting up a strategy just because the market's down. You're setting it up because you finally need to get a strategy that's based on your goals and your retirement plan, whether you're planning to retire in the next five to 10 years or you're retired now, it's just so critical to get that game plan in place. So now is the best time to do it, regardless of the market's up or down, and start to address what those goals are more so than just the volatility of the market. You know, right, that's why you need to have a stress test on your portfolio. And, you know, when times are good, you want to be a stress test so that, because these times are going to happen. Unfortunately, there are a lot of portfolios that get hit with a heart attack in the last month, and they're finished. They're done. They're not going to recover. Um, so you want to make sure that every year you do a financial checkup that you have an advisor that takes your portfolio and makes sure that it's going to achieve your goals. It's going to achieve what you need your money to do, not the products they want to sell you. It's so important to have a goal-based asset allocation that you and I have been talking about all day today. All right, well, listen, Dan, thanks for those questions. Now, I got a question for Ryan. Ryan, on a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized, what exactly would you give Patrick and Grace today? Woo, if we had to give, I mean, Patrick's a little ahead of grace because Patrick knows he's thinking about consolidation. He's thinking about the thing. So I'm going to give Patrick a four, grace a three. Grace desperately needs a plan. She's not even thinking about planning for the long term. So I think get on it, gang. So you're telling me if uh, Grace wants to retire with Grace, she better get a, get a plan done pretty soon, huh? <laughs> clever, Bob. Clever, clever. Thank you, Ryan. Well, let me ask all of you, uh, on a scale of one to 10, where would you rank yourself um, in terms of being financially organized? What would Ryan give you? Would he give you a 10? And if you're not a 10, why wouldn't you want to be? Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next four callers and you've saved over 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. We'll actually create for you your own 360 financial portal. Think about having your own financial GPS, not too different than the one in your car. Only this one will map where you're going financially and report daily exactly where you are on your journey to achieving all of your financial goals in an integrated fashion. It'll define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieving all of your goals after tax, after inflation. It'll put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends that you get with a typical cookie cutter financial plan. You know that stress test Ryan spoke about today? It'll do a stress test on your portfolio every day. It'll update your portfolio and your net worth in real time so that when you feel like looking at it, when you take the time to see it, it's all there ready for you and waiting. And since it'll update in real time, you'll know exactly where you are. And most importantly, you're going to know where you're going. In addition, Ryan and I want to take a look at all those statements that have been coming in the mail over the last couple of weeks. Now, we can't get together face-to-face, -face, but we have secure servers, secure emails, where you can send us that data, and we can put that into your portal and break down your portfolio to be certain you're not one of those folks with that collection of investments where we don't know what you own and you don't know where it's going. We want to have a portfolio that has the three key elements of a successful portfolio, and that's diversification that's cost, and that's income. You wanna be certain you're diversified across all asset classes, within asset classes of high quality companies that not only will pay their dividend, but whose bonds will come due and give your money back when they mature. You wanna have low cost. You know, these, Wall Street is great at putting hidden costs into the portfolio. We have X-ray vision. Well, actually, we have tools that give us the ability to X-ray your portfolio and show us exactly where those costs are hidden, deep in that perspective or in that annuity contract you know, where that salesman doesn't want you to look. And we also want to look at income. We want to create dependable, repeatable income. You know, once you retire, that paycheck no longer comes in. You have that gap in retirement that has to be filled with income. And if you're retired right now, your number one goal is to keep it that way, is to enjoy a lifetime of income you can't outlive. And in addition, Ryan and I will tie it all together into your own personal, total financial masterpiece, where we'll answer the age-old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to four decades. Can you believe it? For over 45 years. 
we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. We have four slots left if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's call or text at 844-752-6692. While you're locked in, you can simply send your statements through a secure server. We'll build your own personalized portal. We're doing video conferences at 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. Get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844 844- 752 That's call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E. Too many Eagles games. Um, Because you know, Bob and I, we want to make sure that we're getting the best advice, most practical advice. Right now, with all the volatility, it's a great time to optimize taxes on your portfolio. We give you five ways to do that. You can download the document for free. Simply text the word bullish, 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Bob and I give you five ways to save on taxes right now. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective. Money saved on taxes just as green as any money can make invest it. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, the 555-888. That's the word bullish, the 555-888. And now, drum roll, we have a very special guest on the show. We have my colleague, Bob's colleague, financial advisor, Payne Capital Management, Francesca Frankie Lagrataria. Say that three times fast. So Frankie, how's the quarantine life treating you? I know you've been moving around Jersey, rumor has it. So what's uh, what's going on? Yes, I'm in uh, I'm in the Philadelphia area, which I was very excited to be during the draft, even though not not so great feedback on WIP, but we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how the season goes. Let's face it, Frankie. If WIP ran the Eagles, they've never would have won a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Our New York client base does not care about Philadelphia radio guys. Come on. <laughs> well, they're very happy with the Giants draft, so they'll, they'll be fine. <laughs> true. Very true. Well, Frank, this is our spotlight segment. Every week we dissect a real financial plan and we uncover what we call the flaws or pain points, of course, P-A-Y-N-E, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. You worked on a case recently where you helped a couple, actually I helped you as well, get on their path to financial freedom. Why don't you break down the case for us? Yeah, absolutely. So the big thing with this case was, you know, they had one very large annuity that they weren't sure if they wanted to keep. They weren't sure, you know, what what was the benefits of it. And I think that's a really good exercise for everyone with an annuity. So I made like a little questionnaire. And my questions are, number one, if you have an annuity, why do you have an annuity? Can you answer that question? Number two, what are you paying and or giving up? Do you know? And then number three, what does your product do? I, <laughs> I think these are really important questions to ask yourself because a lot of you are paying thousands of dollars like a wish list purchase on Amazon. <laughs> I think it's more than that. I mean, this, this specific annuity you and I analyzed, this couple was paying $70,000 a year, which is like an ins- insane number when you started breaking down all the fees in that annuity. The same number always a large number <laughs> <laughs> well how's that possible when i'm in the philadelphia area I, I, there's a uh, crash proof retirement commercial where they have people giving testimonials saying well there's no fees that i'm aware of how come they don't know that they're paying these seventy thousand dollars in fees if they're not real well you know what that's a great question and a lot of times you know it depends on your annuity one it really does all of them are different no annuities treated equal but you need to see what am I actually paying and you can call and ask and you can look and you can do an analysis and we can help you with that. Or you may not be paying something, but you're giving up something. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a free lunch, especially Mm -hmm. when it comes to insurance companies. And that's what annuities are. They're an insurance product. So you may be giving up something like a cap. So you may be like, Oh, I can cap out at 5%. Well, last year the market was up 30. So did you win? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good point, Frankie. So in this case too, specifically, we call the insurance company directly, mm-hmm. not the insurance salesman. Cause a lot of people are nervous. Well, I don't want to talk to the insurance person that sold to me, but we went to the company directly and this was literally a 40 minute conversation because this thing was so complex that I would even argue the person trying to explain the annuity to us didn't hundred percent understand how it worked. And by the time we finished the call, I think our client's head was going to spin. <laughs> or it was, was spinning. <laughs> yeah. Because it was well, so that's complex. Why, that's why I recommend it. We have smelling salts in the office uh, because people tend to faint <laughs> after we speak to their insurance company about all the costs that they were somehow told about in a perspective, but never really was it pointed out to them that this is what it was going to cost them on an annual basis. And it's so crazy to me, Bob, because if any other industry, something like this were to happen, if you went to go buy a car and your car salesman was just like talking your ear off and you had no idea and all of a sudden you left with a Lexus, like that, that wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'd know all the features. You would know yeah, all and you would also know that you're going to pay for it. Even if you had a zero down, 0% interest rate on the you car, exactly ultimately you're, you're paying for it. what your monthly is, at yeah. least. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. You know, that these things are illiquid. I had, I had a client two weeks ago who actually bought a company um, and he he called me up and he said, yeah, Bob, I need, I need a couple of million dollars. What's the best way to get it? Now, fortunately our portfolio was liquid, but we were also able to take out a margin loan at one and a half percent interest. So he could purchase this company because it it was something where it was very timely. If he had an annuity, we'd have to say, oh, sorry, you know, you you can't buy your company. You're going to have to wait 10 years until the surrender charge disappears. That's, That's right. so important. There is there is not a lot of flexibility when it comes to annuities. And I think it is so important. That might be, you know, top five things to have in your portfolio and to have in your plan is flexibility when you're in retirement, especially. You know, who wants to hear, oh, you can take out that, you know, guaranteed 10 percent, but it's going to affect your it's going to affect your plan. It's going to affect your income. And it's it's who knows that that's what you need, you know, to yeah, pop your point. Is 10% going to get you the million dollars you needed for this amazing opportunity? Well, I love, I love your three points. I think they're spot on. And annuities are a product. They're an insurance product. And what I found in our industry, some investments are bought and some investments are sold. Now, this is my 47th year of helping people achieve their financial goals. And I've never once in 47 years had anybody call me and requested an investment in an annuity. Now, I don't know what it says about annuities, but I have a feeling these are things that are sold. They are not bought by investors. And uh, I think everybody should ask those three simple questions um, about the annuity if they own one right now. Yeah, it comes down to that old Capital One commercial. Do you know what's in your, do you know what's in your wallet? <laughs> it's kind of like, do you know what's in your annuity? You need to find out. Um, great job on this, Frankie. And I know you and I worked on this together and you just did a phenomenal job breaking it down so the client could make a good decision and really figure out what does this make sense for his plan. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, like I have a lot of investments I don't understand. I have an annuity. I don't really understand how it works. Here's your shot to understand everything in your portfolio to make sure you have a cohesive plan that's going to get you through retirement. We still have three slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Frankie Lagrateria, and Bob will run for you. Our total financial master plan will do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we're going to look at everything. All you need to do, get your statements together. You can email them to us through a secure server. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can actually see your entire net worth at a bird's eye view. We can do a full audit of your financial situation to make sure you're on track. We're going to look at everything from income. Income is so critical for retirement. Do you have an income plan? How are you going to draw from your portfolios? We're going to show you how to optimize the income and come up with an income game plan for your retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit hard when the market sold off in the last couple of weeks? Probably did. We're going to show you how to protect yourself. We're going to show you how to build a portfolio that has protection in place so you bulletproof your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at income and fees. What hidden costs are in your portfolio? This couple is paying $70,000 a year. They didn't know they were paying in an annuity. We're going to break down all the hidden costs in your portfolio, show you how to reduce costs, then optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective right now. Money saved in taxes, just as green as any money can make invest it. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk, 
and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692 or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, you know what we always say here, there are no good investments and there's no bad investments. There's only appropriate investments. Let's be certain that the investments you have are appropriate for you. All you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of our next three callers, you've saved over 500,000 for retirement. We'll create for you your own total financial master plan. Don't miss out. Give us a call at 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show, Frank. Um, You you told me before that you were actually enjoying the quarantine life. Uh, Do you still feel (laughs) that way? That's what we want to know. I love it. And I recently just started a 28-day challenge with FitHit. So I am going to come out of quarantine ripped. So... (laughs) Wow. Get ready. Get ready to see me. <laughs> You're going to come back to the office with guns. I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, bigger guns. <laughs> bigger guns. I stand All corrected. Right, well, Frankie, just remind me to stay on your good side. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, it's a good uh, lesson for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a second opinion. You can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.